Wait till I get back. It appears as though a, a lot of effort and a lot of work was uh, invested in both the federal investigation, statewide investigation. Uh, at the end of the day, we think that those conclusions were in many ways uh, not in line with our expectations of what we viewed as the evidence uh, on August 9th of 2014. No, and I think part of what they have done, they've accepted his self-defense based upon the facts that they We do want to announce today that we are officially in a process of formulating a civil case that we anticipate will be filed very shortly on behalf of the family. In our case, we plan to show and outline pretty much the same evidence. However, uh, you will get a more clearer, a more uh, accurate picture of what took place that day. We feel, and we've always felt from the very beginning, that Officer Darren Wilson did not have to shoot and kill Mike Brown Jr. in broad daylight in the manner that he did, that he had other options available to him. You couldn't have been surprised because we'd all been hearing these rumblings coming out. Um, however, I think for his parents to sit there and to hear it from the DOJ officials um, was a very tough day for them. And so all thanks to them for coming for it today, at least standing here with us. Um, they did not want to hear that. They don't accept that. They don't accept the, the fact of this self-defense theory. They believe there were plenty of witnesses who came forward who saw what they saw. So whoever sits on this case will have to determine those facts and weigh those facts based upon them. It's important that we remember that the things that they found within the city of Ferguson Police Department was the same culture that existed the day on August 9th as Officer Darren Wilson met Michael Brown in that street. Thank you. Hey, Darren.